Can bird poop keep us cool? Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer. Now when you stop and think about it, and I recommend that you do, heat is a crazy thing. You can pack it, you can take it, and you can catch it, but can you beat it? Well, today we're going to test some of the most unique ways to do just that, but we're not just gonna find out the best ways for humans to stay cool in these hot summer months. Mm -hmm. No, we're going to test some of the ways that animals stay cool too. And if you thought we were cool before, first of all, thank you. And second of all, you ain't seen nothing yet. It's time for Let's Get Weird With It, How To Keep Cool. Welcome to the hot zone. To test all of these potential cooling techniques, we have properly surrounded and wrapped ourselves with as much heat as we could gather. Yes, not only are we layered, but we actually both are wearing heated socks with built-in battery packs. Good gracious. Uh, and we, we have these heaters, man. every space heater we can get hold of. They're emanating, oscillating, and in otherwise heatilating. Okay, now, now we, we should just move. Yeah. What, is that a dance? <laughs> You getting hot yet? How about some just pelvic thrusts? Not towards each other though. I'm starting to feel a trickle down my back. Right. Ooh, into my crack. Okay. Ooh. I'm hot now. I'm, I'm hot too. Let's get to testing. <laughs> Eating spicy food is one alleged way to cool yourself down. The science says that when you eat spicy food, your internal temperature rises, which makes your blood circulate and then makes you start to sweat. And then once you start sweating, you start cooling down. Okay, in front of us we have very spicy chicken vindaloo and very spicy Bloody Marys. I haven't had a Bloody Mary since right before we started shooting. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. That's spicy. Yeah. Mm. I mean, my body is already trickling and drenching with sweat everywhere. That's good. I'm also a little winded. It just, oh yeah, me too. The spice distracts me from the heat that I'm experiencing everywhere else in my body. Dang it. Dang it, dang it. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> in the loops. <laughs> um, okay. Mm. This is what they call a bend to lose lose situation. Yes. <laughs> Get it? Okay. Now, I'm already sweating. Well, yeah, we. Yeah, so. Is it, it gonna make me sweat more? Makes us sweat more, and it, I mean, my stomach's also burning. The problem is, I should, I'm gonna, let's take one more bite. Is it's very difficult for the sweat to evaporate when you're wearing all these clothes. I got a big bite. Ooh. Ugh. Uh, it still doesn't taste bad, but it's, boy, it is spicy. Let me wash it down say, with something else that's spicy. I am getting cooler. I mean, I'm just talking about like, my vibe is cooler. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm eating Vindaloo and drinking Bloody Marys. And looking like this, That's though. pretty cool. Think about me. I'm like a ski bunny. What are these? <laughs> Think about me coming down the slopes. I'm like, pff, pff, pff. I come up to the lodge. I'm oh, like, the, look at that cool guy. Is my Vindaloo <laughs> and Bloody Mary combo ready? I'm starting to, that's the hiccups. Mm. I'm super cool. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's happening. Uh, I'm getting cooler mostly because I stopped running in place. <laughs> What's the science behind that? I just feel more miserable. <laughs> <laughs> the next cooling technique comes from the animal kingdom down under. When a kangaroo needs to cool down, they lick their forearms until their fur is soaking wet. And as their saliva evaporates, it cools down their body temperature. Look at this. Oh yeah, that looks tasty. That's a cool kangaroo, man. Okay. I wonder if it tastes good, like it's salty, you know? That's not the part of the kangaroo that I would eat. No meat there. Of course, he's not eating himself, he's just licking himself. You're looking at that kangaroo thinking about eating it? People don't eat a kangaroo? People oh. do, but. Oh, well, first of all, even just lifting my freaking relief. sleeve. Sense of relief. Gives me a sense of relief. Okay. Oh, my face is sweating, my glasses won't stay up. Okay. Commence the licking. <laughs> That's kind of nice, it does taste good. Tastes a little bit like kangaroo. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is working, especially if you if you lick and then uh, blow on your forearm. Lick oh yeah, the old lick and blow. That, that helps. 
You know, you ever you ever look at those pictures of like really muscular kangaroos on the internet? Yeah. They're like so buff. I thought it was Photoshop the first time I saw it. You know, it might help if we lick each other's arms. Just waiting for you to ask. <laughs> Ooh, your arm is very sweaty. <laughs> it's very salty. Why are you looking like a cat? Look like a kangaroo, like this. Because I want to, it tastes something funky on it. Your arm is very, it's very salty. There's something other than salt on your arm. What is that? <laughs> Wait, come on. I think that's garlic emitting from my pores. It's something you from ate. last night's dinner. But the real question is. Daddy garlic arms. Do you feel cool right now? Yes, it's working. I feel so cool right now. Sometimes you'll come across a lizard sitting there with its mouth open like it just walked in on its parents making a sibling. What is actually happening there is overheated lizards open their mouths for extended periods of time in order to cool off. It's called open mouth basking and it cools the lizard's head and brain. In addition to lizards, elephants have a unique way of cooling off and it's through their ears. They flap their ears which can reduce their body temperature by almost 10 degrees. So, only because you've been asking for it for years, here's side by side footage of a lizard and an elephant cooling off. Oh. Woo! We did it! Freebird! Okay. Well, whatever that was playing, it was perfect. Now, for the very first time on the internet, we will attempt to combine the cooling powers of both lizards and elephants to see if we can achieve the ultimate cooling method. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do these on your ears. You do them. Yeah, you do that side, I'll do this side. Okay, how's that? Yeah. And then over here, how's that? Uh, All right. Okay. I'm gonna be flapping. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm hot. You're sweating a little bit. Yeah, I'm sweating. Okay, now open your mouth. And flat. <laughs> the mouth part's really working, but the ears is kind of painful. It, it's not hurting though. I mean, it, I mean, it is hurting, but it's not hurting the, the cooling down process. <sighs> Geppetto, does this make me a real boy? <sighs> it's helping a little bit. Oh, I lost my hat, which that, is also that, helping. That helps a lot. Ooh, you know what? I can feel my brain getting cooler, <laughs> if not a little bit stupider. Success. Storks, turkeys, and vultures are just a few of the birds that are known to keep cool by defecating on their legs and feet. Sounds like fun. Yeah. And because you've been asking for it for years, here's a clip of a hot condor pooping on its own feet. <laughs> oh. Did you see that? Did you see that hot condor poop on itself? <laughs> Yeah, it kind of leaned over and then squish. Yeah, just like I do. Okay, that cooling technique is known as urohydrosis. And if you thought we wouldn't try it in the name of science, Euro got another thing coming, <laughs> and that thing is bird poop. We thought about asking the mythical crew to each make a donation to our buckets, but they were plumb out. So we had to acquire rehydrated, 100% natural, Peruvian seabird guano. Real easy to come by. That G word is a fancy name for the S word, which is a naughty name for crap. Ah. <laughs> which is a slightly naughty name for dookie, which is a slightly inappropriate name for feces, which is the technical name. Excrement. Yeah. Okay. Gosh, I mean, I experienced some relief just by pulling my pants legs up. Well, let me paint some poop on, on your leg and see Oh, you gonna paint on my leg? Yeah, I'm, I'm the poop Picasso, man. Okay. Oh, that feels good. Woo! I nice. thought it was a paintbrush. I'm sorry, I was, I was putting it against you really hard. And that's, some thi that's some stiff bristles. It's, <laughs> it's just a piece of wood. But it's so cold, it feels good. It's just, it does, it's probably not even cold. It's just that it's mud. Let me get some on you, man. Step on the thing, though. Yeah. I mean, we're not even on the plastic. Oh, thanks for that. Oh, yeah. Right on my toe. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's nice. nice. Oh, goodness. This is what they call the original stanky leg. 
Granddaddy poop legs. <laughs> How do you do the stanky leg? Can you do the stanky leg? We're doing it, man. We're doing it. Here, but, but come if, down here and hit me again. But if we did stanky leg with stanky leg, let me hit you right. Let your other. What does it smell like? Uh, it smells like a like a cave you shouldn't enter. <laughs> Doesn't it? Oh, ooh, oh, it's like almost like. It's not as bad as human. Like bird poop. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, the moment it hits my legs, I start to feel relief. And then I think I might have an open wound. It kind of hurts right there. <laughs> oh gosh. You know what? That's probably good though. I think the number one treatment for open wounds these days is bird poop. Open why? Mm. It does have a pudding like quality. I'm surprised you hadn't been tasting it. Well, I am tempted because I'm so freaking hot everywhere. I just want to put it on your face. But you can, to you totally get the idea that this would dry out slowly and then you just have like poop crust. All right, so overall, this one works great, but which one do we think worked the best? Stanky leg, man. By far for me. I could do this all day. In fact, there's a lot of poop. Do you want to? <sighs> sure, Red, I'd love to have quality time with you and some guano. Yes, uh, this is the best technique. So if you're looking to cool yourself off this summer, you're gonna have to get a bunch of seabirds. <laughs> Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Alex. And I'm Andy, and we're in Iceland. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Oh, to be there right now. Oh, that'd be nice. We'd We're be, totally ready for we'd it. We'd be properly dressed. We wouldn't stick out at all. Click through to watch us play a game about crazy weatherman names. And weather this, person. Weather person to see where the Willamette Calendar lands. Summer, summer, summer time. Just sit back and buy online. <laughs> Our classic summer collection is available at mythical.store.